The presidents of France and Russia have agreed to share intelligence on the Islamic State and cooperate towards selecting targets to attack. The development also raises hopes that closer ties between the U.S. and Moscow against the Islamic State may follow. Putin added that Russia is ready to cooperate with a broad international military action in Syria. French President Hollande said he and Putin agreed to increase intelligence exchange and intensify airstrikes against Daesh, the Arab acronym for ISIS. The Russian leader also criticized the U.S. for failing to prevent its NATO ally Turkey from shooting down a Russian military jet at their border with Syria on Tuesday. Russian President Vladimir Putin pledged to support France's grand coalition against the Islamic State group. French leader François Hollande reiterated the view that Bashar Assad has no place in the future of Syria. But Putin said that should be up to the Syrian people to decide. Sun jung shares with us what they touched on during the frosty discussions. The two powers signaled a new era of cooperation on Thursday following French President François Hollande's visit to Moscow. On the final leg of his diplomatic mission to forge a wider coalition against the Islamic State group, Hollande gained support from his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, who agreed on increasing intelligence sharing and intensifying their airstrikes against ISIS in Syria. Today we agreed to accelerate our joint work on the anti-terrorist track, to enhance the exchange of operational information in the fight against terrorism, and to organize constructive work between our military specialists. The French leader was also assured that Russia would only strike Islamic State positions. In a joint conference, Hollande said the two agreed to strike the terrorists only and not the forces and groups that are fighting against the terrorists. Moscow has come under criticism for targeting some moderate rebel groups who are fighting ISIS and Bashar Assad's regime. But the two countries remain at odds over their approach toward Assad. Putin, calling the Syrian army a natural ally in the fight, said the fate of the Syrian president should be decided by the Syrian people and not by outsiders. However, Hollande maintained the position held by Western powers that Assad has no place in a post-war Syria. In line with Hollande's efforts to build a stronger anti-terror coalition, Germany has promised to help, offering reconnaissance aircraft, tanker planes and a warship. Germany also pledged to offer satellite surveillance that could provide important information on the extremist group and help protect civilians in the region.